Sadly, me and Steve lost our tag team titles at SummerSlam, and sadly, Steve is injured and out for a few weeks. I know once he is fit and back to being an ass kicker, we are coming for those tag titles. What a crazy way to start a brand new episode of SmackDown. We're fresh from the huge SummerSlam pay-per-view this past Saturday, where Kevin Owens and Stone Cold lost their tag titles to the Judgment Day. And Kevin Owens just confirmed there that Stone Cold is currently injured and will be out of action for a number of weeks. But then The Rock, he came from behind and just rock-bottomed Kevin Owens. The Rock has been friends with Kevin and Stone Cold. They've teamed together to take on the Judgment Day a few months ago. The Rock's been there for Kevin Owens and Stone Cold and now The Rock has turned his back on both of them? Or just Kevin Owens? I, I don't know what's just going on there but The Rock attacking Kevin Owens was a crazy way to open up a brand new episode of Smackdown. But coming up next we have the brand new women's champion in action. She's taking on EO Sky. Someone called Bianca Belair one of the most inspiring superstars in WWE. Her unbridled confidence, her unwavering spirit have made her a shining example that people all over the world look up to. It's not hard to see why so many people feel a connection to Bianca and her story of hard work and determination. You look at everything she's accomplished. She has made her own dreams come true. And always stay true to herself along the way. We'll see if Bianca's hard work continues to pay dividends here in this one. But we can't ignore just how determined EO Sky is at all times. Determined to win, determined to take to the skies, and determined to simply be the best. And you better have wings growing out of your back if you think you're going to be able to keep up with EO once she takes off. The genius of the sky isn't just a moniker for EO, guys. It's basically her entire in ring mindset. Yeah, and Bianca Belair is well aware of that. She'll be expecting the aerial assault from EO, which is exactly why, if EO can help it, she needs to rely on her quickness and her dangerous strikes to soften Bianca up first. Then it's lift off. Belair goes behind. How about slam? Bianca just got EO right where she wants her, and this could be the moment for the EST. Left by the turnbuckles. Things went from bad to worse. Check out this power military press way up there. That was ridiculous. Bianca is displaying dominance. Well, EST reminding EO just who it is she met. Bianca Belair with the power. KOD. Belair might have this in the back. ever with that kick out. No idea if that was just on instinct or what, but she refused to stay down there. And Bianca has to pull herself together, knowing that she was only a second away from earning the three count. She's going up. Top rope here. Flying. All the way to the outside. They got all of that just taking flight and soaring through the sky. Everyone get out of the way. These two are abandoning all restraints. Tossed back into the ring. Eo with a turnaround. Scott. Eo looking for a submission face first into the Cozy Clutch. The EST. She is trying to break out of this. Ooh, an elbow does the job. Big splash. Incredible pressure being put on Sky. Bianca's keeping the pressure on. For the win. Two. Bianca Belair with the victory. WWE standing tall. Congratulations to Bianca Belair.
Io Sky gave Bianca one heck of a fight, but it seems this just... The world hasn't stopped talking about my return at SummerSlam. CM Punk is back in WWE, and I am not here to make friends. I am here to win championships, and I want a shot at the Intercontinental title. A big win for the new women's champion Bianca Belair, and huge news from CM Punk. He has just made it clear that he is coming for the Intercontinental Championship. He made his return to WWE at SummerSlam, defeating Dominic Mysterio in Dom's SummerSlam Open Challenge, and he's made it clear he is coming for gold, and that is exactly what he plans on doing. So if he can defeat AJ Styles next week in the main event of SmackDown, he gets a shot at Jey Uso's Intercontinental Championship at Extreme Rules. Dang. Plenty of ways to get creative up on the entrance area. Also plenty of ways to get yourself seriously hurt. Second, Michael. Oh, gee, straight to the cranium. There are a lot of ways this can go sideways. Everything on that stage looks like it hurts. Oh, my gosh, what impact. The champ taking their share of hits now. RVD displaying that artillery of exciting offense. Boom. And Van Dam is showcasing his arsenal. Yeah, RBD is firing on all cylinders. A table that WWE Universe is going wide. Getting back into the ring. He's got a plan for that table, and it does not involve a dinner party. Oh, that kind of agility is something that just might get the champ shook. When the challenger can come at you from all angles, that makes for a very dangerous situation. Oh, knee scratch in the face. The fight has been taken to Jack. This is Cactus's perseverance being tested. Oh, man. I'd have to think that a no disqualification match favors the most heartless competitor in the ring. Well, that's mostly true, but even the most rule-abiding superstars have risen to the occasion of a no disqualification match. When there are no rules, there's no wrong and right. He's got the answer for that one. Oh, I love this. This is vintage. Rolling thunder! RVD throwing caution to the wind. Anything to leave a lasting impression. Sharp elbows to the body, looking to fight his way out. Yeah. RVD fires back. Van Dam reversing the momentum on him. He could be turning his fortunes around. Ooh, reversal catches RVD. In control here with a swinging neck. The champion into the cover. Oh, and quick resiliency from the challenger. What stamina. It's truly impressive to completely beat the count here. Kick to the midsection prevents the attack. Trying to find his bearings, but it looks like his end is near.
You can just feel it. Their championship dream has become reality. Become a champ like this? Some more crazy scenes on SmackDown. Mick Foley and Rob Van Dam were fighting on the stage. Next minute they're in the ring. Tables are going through. There's weapons involved. And Rob Van Dam has just defeated Mick Foley for the Hardcore Championship. Mick, Rob Van Dam is the brand new Hardcore Champion. Mick Foley defeated RVD at SummerSlam to become the first ever Hardcore Champion. And now Rob Van Dam, a few days later, is now that Hardcore Champion that can be defended 24 seven at any moment. So make sure you keep an eye on social media in case things happen. But I just want to confirm that the main event of Extreme Rules, our next pay-per-view, will be Cody Rhodes versus Roman Reigns for the World Championship. Roman Reigns won an impressive triple threat match at SummerSlam defeating Seth Rollins and Drew McIntyre in a massive triple threat match to decide who was a new number one contender for Cody's World Championship if he was successful that night. Of course, Cody defeated John Cena, Roman won his match, so now we have Roman Reigns, Cody Rhodes for the world title confirmed for the main event of Extreme Rules. And coming up next, it's the main event of SmackDown and Roman Reigns is in action against Cody Rhodes' SummerSlam opponent, John Cena. Action has made it back to the ring and we can officially start this match. Tribal Chief held up in the one yard line. You have to think Roman will want to dial up that maneuver one more time. Look at this matchup here, Corey. What do you think John Cena needs to do to find a way to win? I think Cena just needs to do what he does best react to the moment. John has an unparalleled natural intuition when it comes to in ring action. He can read an opponent and see where they're headed, which should help him find openings for big time attacks. He's positioning himself, closing in. From the apron, you gotta be kidding me. That is tossing your own body around without a care. Taking no account for their own well-being. Thrown out of ringside and back to the mat. Taking this match off the mat now. Oh, look out. Crash landing. This is why it's good to have a manager. Good to have an ally who wants you to win as badly as you do and will introduce any tool to produce victory. Punch him in the chest! Cena powering up his opponent into position! Funny AA! Can Reigns recover from that? Oh my god, did you see that? Kick out at one! How? How? Kick it out at one after that is unheard of. And Cena has to remain undaunted now. He can't let up. Catches a punch. And Reigns reverses. Superman punch. This could be it. Cover for the win. Cena's doing it. There's some shock in the arena after that kick out. Oh, Roman Reigns about to put his opponent away. No getting up from this. Reigns got it. one of the biggest wins of Roman Reigns' career. We are all in disbelief and shock.